Hey guys, it's Mac and welcome to the YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to create this promotional banner design step-by-step -step in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator with a square board that I'll be working on. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a background for our post. Download these files from the video description and then drag this texture background in Illustrator. It's a high resolution image, so make sure to scale it down and place it according to your artboard. So once you are done with the adjustment of this texture, go to Project Files once more and drag this wooden surface on top of your design. Align this surface to the center and place it at the bottom of your artboard. And then scale it down until a suitable portion is covered at the bottom. Now the next thing we can do is we can add our main product image here. Drag this food item from the project files and place it on top of the wooden surface. Align it to the center and adjust its size to make sure that this image is not very large. So once you are done with the background and the image part, it's time to add our headline text. I'm going to use this decent typeface for my design, which you can simply download from Google. With the type tool selected, use the downloaded typeface and write your main headline, just like this. Align this headline to the center and increase its size quite a bit to make sure that it's properly visible. Now create a copy of this text and write the remaining headline just like this. However, decrease its size quite a bit and then also change its color to this bright yellow shade which is our primary color in this design. Now place this text closer to the larger text and then create another copy to write something to enhance the headline. Change its typeface to something different and also increase its size to make sure that it's similar to the larger text. Now place this text closer to the larger text and once you are satisfied with the sizing, select this complete headline text and then select the transform tool from the toolbar. Now hold down the control key and move this anchor point upward to create a nice tilted look for your headline. Just like this. Now adjust the position of the headline and then zoom out to see that everything lines up nicely. You can manually adjust the size of this headline to make sure that a significant amount of space is covered at the top. So now we can create some extra design element just below the headline. Select the pin tool from the toolbar, click here to create first anchor point and then click and drag to create an arc just like this. Now click here to swap the fill with stroke and change the stroke color to white. Now from the arc profile menu, change its shape to profile one and also increase the stroke value to two. Now our headline is finally complete with some nice transformed look. Now it's time to add our logo at the top left corner of our design. I'm going to use this simple food logo that I've downloaded from Google, but you can use any other logo that you want. Simply copy your logo in Illustrator and place it at the top left corner and scale it down to make sure that it's not too large. Now we can add a discount offer right here with the product image. Select the ellipse tool and create a circle by holding down the shift key. Click here to swap the fill with stroke. Now write some discount inside this circle using the same text styles from the headline. Create a copy of the text and write something for the discount offer like this. Decrease its size to fit the text inside the circle. Now similarly, create another copy from this headline text and write the remaining discount offer, which is 50% in this case. Change its color to white. And now adjust the size and position of this full text to make sure that it's nicely placed inside the circle. So once you are done with the discount offer, select the text and the circle and place them closer to the product image. So now we can add some contact information at the bottom, but we need some background color to make sure that everything is visible. Select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle at the bottom. 
Now open the gradient panel and click here to apply a gradient, and also change the angle to 90 degrees. Now we can change the color of this gradient by double-clicking on this slider, set the color mode to RGB, and then select pure black. Similarly, double-click on this second slider, set the color mode to RGB, and apply pure black color. Now click on this slider and change its opacity to zero. So now you can adjust the height of this rectangle and also the gradient point to make sure that we have a nice faded black background. You can take your time to adjust the height and gradient of this rectangle until you are satisfied with the desired result. Now you can add some information at the bottom. So once more with the rectangle tool selected, create a small rectangle here at the bottom left corner. Now zoom in and use the type tool to write something inside this rectangle. Adjust its size and also align it to the center. So once you are satisfied with the rectangle, go to the effect menu and round its corners. Click on preview to see the effect in real time. Select a suitable value according to your rectangle shape and then hit OK. Now add some additional info on the opposite corner. Create a copy of this text. Change its color to white from the color picker. And then write a contact number for delivery purpose. Create another copy of the text and write a phone number for the viewer. Change its color to the primary yellow shade. Then increase its size to make sure that it gets the viewer's attention. And also increase the font weight. Now adjust the spacing between these lines. And also adjust the position of this contact number. Do some final adjustments. And make sure that everything lines up nicely at the bottom. You can also adjust the gradient rectangle in case the information lacks visibility at the bottom. So now we can add some extra design elements to give our design a nice eye-catchy look. With the ellipse tool selected, create a small circle just like this. Change its color to white and scale it down to create a really small circle. Now we need to create several copies of this circle. Right-click on this shape and transform each. Change the horizontal value to 30 pixels and create a copy. Now press Ctrl D to repeat this step several times. Now select all these circles, right click, and transform each. Set the horizontal value back to zero and change the vertical value to 30 pixels and create a copy. Now once more press Ctrl D to repeat this step. Now make sure to select all these circles Press Ctrl-G to group them, and then decrease their opacity to around 60%. Now scale them down so that they are not very focused, and place them in this empty space like this. Now create a copy and place it on the top right corner. Now the design is almost complete, but one thing that you might notice is that the placement of this food item is not looking very realistic. So what we can do is we can create a custom shadow for this image. Select the ellipse tool and create a flat ellipse just like this. Open the layers panel and make sure to place this ellipse behind the food image. Align this ellipse to the center and also change its color to black from the color picker. Now go to the effect menu and apply a blur value to this ellipse. Select a suitable value according to your artboard and simply hit OK. Now it's time to adjust this shadow according to our image. Place it properly behind the image and also decrease its opacity to a suitable value, making sure that the shadow looks realistic. Keep adjusting the height and position of this shadow, and also adjust the opacity to ensure that it's neither too dark nor too light. Now our food image is looking realistic on this wooden surface. Now that the design is finally complete, as always, we can select the Rectangle tool and create a square equal to the size of the artboard. 
Now make sure to select everything on the canvas. Go to the object menu and make a clipping mask. So here is the final design, and this is how you can create a promotional post design for social media in Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to like this video, and also subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.